Hi guys, this is part two, because I rambled on for too long on part one, looking at these little tape measures I picked up in Poundland. And I pulled that one out so far it actually came apart. And I have rewound it and put it back in there, but I haven't wound it up tight enough. So it's actually dragging, whereas that one is obviously wound up tighter and goes back in again. But what I explained was the reason I bought this wasn't because I wanted it as a tape measure. I actually wanted that spring steel to see if we could use it for jamming down the sides of the hasp, I think it's called, this bit, on these padlocks to push the, the latch out the way. Uh, what have I done with the other bit of aluminium? I've dropped it somewhere. Anyway, the general idea is you slide this in to push the latch mechanism out the way. I don't know if I can use this one on this one because it's a bit thicker metal. That would do it if that was the right side. Let's try it on the other side. <laughs> wasting time again this is not what i want as a video but it's there it's done it it had just done it and i didn't realize it had done it what you're doing is you're pushing that bit of metal over the little latch that's in there that's gripping on that hook just there That one, just there. This padlock's only got one. This padlock's got one on both sides, so you need two of them. And I was looking for suitable metal to do it with, so I was using aluminium to do that from a tin, from a drinks can. It can handle that one all right. But this one needed something a bit stronger, so I used uh, metal from a spray paint can which is a thicker metal steel instead of aluminium i think and i was looking at this in pound land thinking that might do the job so that's what i bought it for 80 pence i bought two because i thought i might actually use one to measure with anyway side issue we're now going to talk about this one a cheap one pound fifty combination lock that's the instruction so we don't actually want to tear them that's how to change the combination can you see that open it push it down change the numbers to what you want and turn it again and that should be it i suppose we could actually try that couldn't we We can get it out of the packaging. Oh, is that actually instructions in there as well?
factory lock code is 000. How to change. So set it to 000. Okay. Yeah, opens okay. That's interesting to see what sort of actual latch it is. The only thing you're going to be fighting against when you're trying to open this is that tiny bit of that tiny little bit of metal there. So I've no doubt if you were in a hurry, you could jam something in there and get that up quite easily. I would think. Anyway, follow the instructions. Pull up the shackle and rotate it 90 degrees. That would be 90 degrees. Step two, press, press the shackle down. Must be the other 90 degrees. Yes, it's the other 90 degrees that way. Push it down. Done that. Set the new password. Oh, let it go before I've gone to 999, so it's 990. Okay, push it in. We'll just turn the bottom one to lock it. Yep. Yeah. So 990 is what we want, and there we go. So if we didn't know what it was, we go feel till it goes loose. Well, that's gone loose on zero. Start again, start there somewhere, pull it, and loose some zero and it's jamming. Pull it, and loose on nine that way around. That one, that one's tight, tight, very tight. Go the other way. Suppose I should have done this blindfolded just to check. Yeah, so you can do it the traditional way. Just pull on it until you feel it click. But as I say, the fact it's only that tiny little bit of metal that's actually doing the locking Well, that's what it appears to be anyway. I may be wrong. There may be something else inside. I don't want to pop open easily. But certainly the method I was using to open them won't work on this one because you're not trying to push away a little latch. So I'll do it facing away from us so we can't actually see which numbers we're on. Feels loose. Nope. No. I'm 
That's not looser. Did it eventually. It depends what you want the lock for, really, doesn't it? It's just a visual deterrent. And so, so I'm pretty sure with something reasonably tough, you could pull that one up anyway. Two, sp two spanners is what they often use, but that might be too small to get two spanners in there. Hmm. Okay. Another padlock. There is a playlist with my padlocks in them, or locks of various sorts. Well, unfortunately, I just did that off camera. I just... Used a bit of leverage and ripped it open. So that one really isn't going to do any good to you if you want some sort of security. Just a visual thing. To discourage people. Well, I couldn't resist putting a bit more pressure on it. <laughs> it's just cast aluminium or aluminium alloy. No real strength in it. The hasp, or whatever it's called, this loop. It is just those little indentations that are stopping you opening it. And then this barrel has got a single slot in it. I don't know if you can see that at the back there. my finger behind it which is what when you line it up that slides through when it's out of alignment it doesn't slide through and then these those teeth on the inside align with these bits that stick out on the outside And so when you're pushing that in, the night, you turn it 90 degrees and push it in to set the number, what you're doing is you're pushing those barrels down so they don't touch the teeth. And you can turn that around to wherever you want. And then when you lift it back up again, those teeth engage again. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment so I know how I'm doing, and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.